What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, I've had a lot of people ask me about these picks or what am I wearing for Valentine's Day and I gave my wife the task. I said pick four and then I'm going to pick one. And then she ended up liking the one I picked too. So, which is probably going to be the one I go for which we'll save for last. But these are my five choices according to my wife mainly that she would like me to wear for Valentine's Day. Because somebody's going to ask so... Last year we did this, we decided we're going to do this again. Instead of going fight with reservations and everything, we're actually going to cook something together. A few course meal, do it up real big, cozy up to a nice movie, and just enjoy one another's company here at home. Because that just makes it a bit more special than going fight in line. Because we eat out multiple times a week anyway. So, I, I say that because I know you guys, somebody's going to ask, what are we doing for Valentine's Day? So that's the plan. We did it last year. She loved it. She wants to do that again. But... Let's talk about her five choices, including, you know, well, four choices, my one choice, the five that she approves overall. Stay tuned. So I gave her a pile of 30 fragrances, and she picked four, and I picked one, like I said before, and she went first with Le Mal Le Parfum, and I can't say I wasn't giddy about this selection because this is my favorite version of Le Mal because it's warm, it's spicy, and it's very powdery iris. A lot of lavender, has a little bit of the vanillic sweetness, like you still get the Lamal DNA with added spice, like this cardamom starts off bright and spicy and settles into a much more warm, peppery spice with a little bit of an ambery tone as it dries down. Very waxy, powdery, lipsticky iris. This is one of those powder heavy iris designer fragrances that she doesn't find only smells like baby powder because unfortunately a lot of these designer fragrances that feature powdery a little too much for her but this one she absolutely loves so if you have this bottle and maybe you're having some trouble deciding what to wear for valentine's day maybe you want to pull this one out especially if your girl's a fan of powdery iris it's one of the best ever made as far as designers at least in my opinion as well as my wife's taste Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Mal, Le Parfum. I knew she was going to pick this the second she saw the bottle. So, uh, no secret here. Her and I are both a fan of Nishane's Ani. Beautiful, benzoin, amber, vanilla. Gorgeous vanilla. Slightly unique vanilla with some warm spices in the backdrop. <sighs> Uber intoxicating. This is such a good scent profile. If you haven't tried this one yet, you need to get a sample and experience this fragrance. I would say, let's say 90 times out of 100, whoever is trying it for the first time is going to be like, wow, I need a bottle of this one. It's that good. It's still my favorite Nishane fragrance. It's still my wife's favorite Nishane fragrance because I have a little over a handful of bottles from them. I've tried a few more on top of that. And for me, if I had to just pick one from the house, this is the one. This is that damn good. This is my favorite vanilla fragrance, not named Vertus Vanilla Oud. It's pretty much between those two for my favorite niche vanillas. And if you're looking for something, just knock your socks off intoxicating for both you and your lady. I want to pull this one out this Valentine's Day. It's Nishane, I need. Now, I pulled out all of them in this line. And she picked the original. I can't argue. I love the original Spice Bomb from Victor and Rolf myself. She chose this over Extreme, over Infrared, over both Night Visions, over the Fresh Flanker. She digs them. She digs the original the most. And you know what? How do you argue that? The original's just so good. This is an iconic fragrance in men's designers. This is still that damn good. That hasn't changed, guys. There's no new memo on Spice Bomb being any less good than it used to be. Even though it doesn't really get talked about much anymore, it's still one of the most highly complimented fragrances from the ladies in my experience, especially when it comes to my wife. She's a fan of spicy, as am I. Certain spicy for her, most spicy for me. And this is quintessential. It's even in the name. It's one of the most creative bottles of all time because it looks like a freaking grenade and you literally pull the pin to spray it. I, I love that about it. Super creative. Victor and Rolf continues to impress in this line with their continued flankers in my opinion can't wait for the new flanker but for the time being if i felt like spraying this one my wife would be pretty damn happy so maybe dust off your bottle this valentine's day the original spice bomb from victor and rolf now speaking of spices this is a lot of cinnamon beautiful cinnamon too it's sweet 
It's boozy. It's got this earthy tobacco as it dries. This was one of my favorite pickups from last year. Wife's a big fan of this one as well. Soma Parfums Halcyon. Basically, you can look at it as a deeper, more complex angel share. It's not as sweet. It's not as boozy. It is spicier, and it has this earthy tobacco. So there's differences. There are differences, but there's a lot of similarities to the scent profile, too. This is a stunner, an absolute stunner. Guys, if you haven't tried this one yet, look, I'm a fan of Angel Share, too, just like a lot of you right now are saying, but I love Angel Share. Try this one. Try this one. If you don't own Angel Share already, this might make you say, I want that instead. Because, like I said, there's added complexity. Still, just as high quality as Killian. I mean, this is top-tier luxury niche quality oils. The scent profile is glorious. The performance is fantastic. And if you like cinnamon, you'll like this one. Not that kind of candied Red Hots designer cinnamon. No, no, no. Legit spoonful of cinnamon smell. Yeah, this stuff's incredible. Check this one out if you haven't yet. Soma Parfums, Halcyon. Now, a lot of you are expecting a very specific flanker in this line, probably, because I've been raving about it for a while now, but I just got this one in. I want to wear this one. This is the one that I picked. And she agreed, oh yeah, that's fantastic. I'm good if you wear that one. Emporio Armani, Stronger With You Intensely. So, a lot of you were probably expecting absolutely to be here. And you know what? If I didn't have just gotten this one, it would be. But I'm eager to wear this one. I haven't given it a full wearing yet. So, so good. So good. And I had somebody scream at me, literally with exclamation points. That's hollering at me in the comments. Don't you holler at me. Saying, there's no chestnut in it. Yes, in the note breakdown you'll read, there's no chestnut. Hell, if you read the note breakdown on this tester, let me get it to focus so you can read that. See the bottom three in English? It's pink pepper, vanilla, and amber wood. There's more going on than that. The original's DNA is in here. I do get that dry chestnut smell with a lot of toffee and cinnamon spice. God, this is so good. I don't like it more than absolutely, but I like it close. It's close. The whole line's good. It's just floating in the air. And I'm eager to wear it. It's the ideal situation. I just got it in in the last few days. I'm excited about it. The wife really enjoys it. Why not wear it for Valentine's Day? This is what I'm going to wear, guys. I let her pick. And then when I picked the one that I really want to wear, it got the vote of confidence. Now, look, if she'd have said no go with one of these, I would have because it's Valentine's Day. Let your lady pick your scent if you're really into fragrance. If you're having trouble deciding, it's the day with your lady. Let her pick. Luckily, the one I really want to wear, she's all for it. So I'll be going with this this Valentine's Day. Stronger with you, intensely. Well, that's the five that I got for you today. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. Some of you might be saying, why not 10? I'm not debating between 10. I thought about it, and it's like, it's the collection choices isn't that grand. There's only a few that I'd really like to wear. There's only a few that she's even really interested in smelling. And I pulled out all the ones that were a real possibility for me to wear and uh, let her pick her favorites. And then I picked the one that I really want to wear. And it turns out we met in the middle on that one. We both agree. We're going, I'm going with Stronger With You intensely. And obviously she can wear whatever the hell she wants. I'm not going to pick. Again, guys, Valentine's Day is about spending quality time with your lady to show her how much she matters to you. And that's exactly what I plan on doing with my wife. Guys, what are you planning on wearing? Were any of these like, ooh, that's a great idea. I'm going to wear that. Any of my five do that for you? If not, what do you think about them? Are you interested in trying them because you've yet to get your nose on them? I'd love to see what you guys think. And until next time, we'll see if you get your hands on any of these five and you give them a spray now. I'm pretty confident you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys.